Today's video is a problem solving video. We will discuss solenoid valve and pneumatic cylinder problem in this video. Suppose a pneumatic cylinder is not operated on giving signal from solenoid valve or SOV. Then, what are the possible reasons? Let's search for that. It is a very common problem, but sometimes it is hard to detect where the actual problem is. Sometimes we check SOV and sometimes we check pneumatic cylinder, but we can't find the actual problem. Now come to its resolution. A pneumatic cylinder is operated by SOV or solenoid valve. Solenoid valve is the full form of SOV. In this image, solenoid valve and pneumatic cylinder are shown. Solenoid valve is shown by the rectangle, pneumatic cylinder is shown by the arrow. Now, I will explain you how pneumatic cylinder is operated by solenoid valve. In the image, pneumatic cylinder is shown operated, the arrows are shown on the left side and right side of pneumatic cylinder. These are the air tubings for pneumatic cylinder. Air tubings are connected at the output ports of solenoid valve. Output ports are shown by the circle. But how? We will start checking. Let me explain you. Solenoid valve is used with a coil and this coil is known as solenoid coil. Solenoid coil is shown by the circle. The electrical supply is provided to the solenoid coil. And here is the point where this supply is given and is shown by the arrow. Do you know what is supply given to solenoid coil? If yes, then reply. Now, we will see how to check that the coil is working or not. For checking SOV, we will open the coil by losing the screw. The screw is shown by the arrow. We will lose the screw and take the coil out. For checking SOV coil, first we will apply the supply for the coil or we will operate the pneumatic cylinder. If the solenoid coil is working, then magnetic field will be there and it will attract the line tester knob. If we take the line tester knob inside the coil, then we can feel that the coil is attracting the tester knob. If the magnetic field is not present, then it will not attract the line tester knob. Then we will replace the coil of the SOV. If we replace the coil, then the problem may be solved. In most of the cases, the problem is solved. If the coil is working and the problem is still there, then we will proceed to other steps. Now, we will check whether SOV is working or not. This is an important step, so watch it carefully. To check the working of a solenoid valve, first we will remove the air tubings from pneumatic cylinder. Air tubings connections are shown by arrows. Now, we will provide the supply to SOV. Or, we will operate the pneumatic cylinder. When the pneumatic cylinder is operated, the supply is reached at solenoid coil. When the pneumatic cylinder is operated, or we can say the supply is provided, its air must be changed between the air tubings.
If the air is changing between tubes, then the problem is from cylinder side. If the air is not changing between air tubings, then SOV is not working. We have one more method to check the SOV without supply. Let's see what is the method. It is by manual switch of SOV. We will press this button and the air will be switched. So, these methods are also for others to show that SOV is working. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching this video. If you really like the videos, do like and share with others. Also, press the bell icon for more updates.